where we have probably the least janky brew uh, you're likely to see me play here. Uh, called Jundex, I'm calling Jund Obnixilis the Adversary. This deck is brought to you by Obnixilis the Adversary, which I think is a card that's underplayed in Standard. It got a lot of hype as it came out, um, then nobody played it, and for the most part, it's been on the sidelines. But this deck um, has performed really well for me. In fact, I considered not jank brewing it because it's not that janky. You got four full copies of Shieldred, four copies of Graveyard Trespasser, just intended to get the, the reanimate decks or the control decks off of their targets. Um, You've got four full copies of Obnixilis the Adversary. We want to be using that Casualty X ability pretty often. More often than not, we're going to be ticking up rather than creating devil tokens unless we really need to gain some life. We just want to put pressure on opponents early. This is a pretty aggressive themed deck. When we are sacrificing Casualty to Obnixilis, we want to be doing it first and foremost with Tenacious Underdog. If you have... All three of these two drops, Tenacious Underdog, Riveteer's Requisitioner, and Mosswood Dread Knight, on turn two, you almost always want to play Tenacious Underdog first. Not only does it have to toughness, which Riveteer's Requisitioner does not, sometimes that matters when you want to push through some damage. It's also the most advantageous card to sacrifice on turn three. You might argue that Mosswood Dread Knight is a better card to sacrifice overall. You can be right about that, but, but what it forces you to do is use the sorcery ability on turn three. Four, which you may not want to do. Um, you want to do that on your terms. So Tenacious Underdog, best card to sacrifice to have next to list if you can play it on turn two. Ribbiteer's Requisitioner, I've been playing in some other decks. I think it's sneakily better than people assume it is. It has that ability to blitz, draw you a card, get a treasure token, lightning bolt something, uh, either your opponent or a planeswalker, or remove a creature, something like that. We uh, have a removal suite, which is two go for the throat, two bitter triumph, two tear asunder, Great for enchantments uh, and unusual permits. Four full copies of Cut Down. We just see so much red and so much mono white in best of one standard that we're going all in on Cut Down. Um, and then a, a, a two of Okiba Reckoner Raid. This could be something else. But it's been fun and good against these aggressive decks, you know, just gaining two and uh, draining two often is a difference maker against a, a deck like red, so I don't hate it. Uh, the mana base is strange, and perhaps could be improved. We're not playing any man lands, we're not playing any basics, we're not playing any legendary lands. All we want is the colors of mana that we need early on in the game, and that's it. So that's what this mana base is intended to do. It's definitely a trade-off. That's your deck tech. Nothing too too janky going on here. But this deck, um, I think, is now 19 and 6 since I've been playing it, uh, which is not bad. And again, not that janky. So let's get into some gameplay.